Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, Kuntu ashrab wa ana ha'il. She said, I used to drink while I was on, on my menses. Thumma unawiluhu nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then I would give the drinking vessel to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fayada afahu ala mawdi fi. And so he would put his mouth on the same place that my mouth had drank from. And this uh, bearing in mind, Ikhwan, the, uh, uh, if any of you have ever be, had a, a real Arabesque meal, <coughs> if you've traveled or you've been away, uh, you have some who still practice it, and that is that they will have the meal, uh, which is ordinarily one uh, yani, large yani, plate with the kharuf or whatever it is that is upon it that is that is that has been cooked and then you'll find it مثلاً, in, uh, in Yemen you'll find it in some of the the old qura in uh, مثلاً, uh, Najd مثلاً, still to this day even in Medina some places but generally in those uh, those areas in Najd uh, as, as is as far as Saudi Arabia is concerned, any of those small villages in Dawadmi and Nifi, Al Breda, Ineza, those you know, smaller villages, you'll find that they'll cook and then they'll present the the drink will just like just the same way that the food was in one vessel and upon one platter, the drink is in one, it's not everybody doesn't receive an individual drink, but the drink is in one vessel likewise. Yani, like a bowl. And so you drink from the bowl and you pass it on. You drink, pass it on, and drink, pass it on. Now, I'm so, Prophet Sallam, Aisha radiallahu anha, mentioned that indeed he used to drink uh, while I was on my men's. And in Tebi Ikhwan, here, generally, generally, most men, yani, have a manner of, if she's on her men's, yeah, I'm actually not going to say it, but she's on her menses. Yeah, and he, like, he generally shies away from her, or yeah, and he has finds you know she. But the Prophet Sallam here still manifesting emotion, manifesting affection, and not being affected by the fact that she was on her menses. Her man, as the Prophet Sallam mentioned, her menses is not in her hands. Neither is it yeah, and he, in her mouth. Or connected to anything other than one area. So Aisha radiallahu anha, she said that I used to drink while I was on my menses. And I would pass the vessel to him. And then he would put his mouth on the same area. And this would make it clearer. And the reason I explained that whole vessel thing was so that you would understand that yani you've got the whole lip of that vessel. And the Prophet would find the area that she had just drunk from. And then he would put his mouth on that same area. Which of course, Ikhwan, he's not necessarily he's going to say, look, 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 look Aisha, what I'm doing. You can see. Yani. Not that he explained it, but she observed it. Now you imagine, Ikhwan, what is going through the heart and mind of Aisha when she observes her husband turning the vessel and drinking from that same place without saying, Aisha, look what I'm about to do. <laughs> but she's just observing him and she sees that, subhanAllah, he turned the vessel to where I just drank from to put his mouth in the same place. Yeah, and if that's not love, <laughs> huh? If that's not love. So you imagine the heart of Aisha. And that indicates clearly that it, is, it doesn't necessitate it. Sometimes it's the small things that a person carries out in his relationship with his wife that causes her to reflect upon the fact that the man really loves me, actually does love me. And it's sometimes it's small things that we overlook. Sometimes it's those little things, if we carry them out, uh, then that will strengthen without doubt the mahabba and the love.